With me here to talk about the Wipro numbers uh, for the fourth quarter and of course the guidance which the company has put out is uh, our Mr. TK Kurian, uh, the CEO of the IT business, Mr. Suresh Senapati, the CFO at Wipro. Thanks very much, both of you. Thanks Thank you. indeed. Let's start with the guidance and we'll get to the fourth At the lower end, we're implying a degrowth compared to the fourth quarter IT services revenues. On the upper end, there seems to be a marginal growth. So maybe or, I can yeah. answer that question. Yeah. So here's what we're seeing as far as the demand, demand environment is concerned. Uh, if you look at our international demand mm -hmm. coming out of the US, Europe, and the rest of the world, uh, we're seeing healthy pipelines. We saw a little bit of slowdown in closures in quarter one calendar year. We see that kind of improving as we get into quarter two of the calendar year. Mm -hmm. Clearly, we're seeing the trend of improvement. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's been driven by a couple of factors. Number one is that... Uh, you mean uh, quarter one calendar? Calendar. Uh, okay. All calendar. Right. Yeah. Not quarter one fiscal. Right. So quarter one fiscal, we're seeing uh, closures. Mm. Quarter four calendar, we uh, fiscal, we obviously saw a slowdown. Mm. Uh, but we're seeing that picking up right now. Mm. To that extent, you know, we are fairly confident that as far as our international business is concerned, growth would come back. There's absolutely no question about it. Mm. I think the challenge that we see is in our India business, and especially in two sectors. Mm. One is telecom, and the other one is government. And fundamentally, our guidance today reflects uh, degrowth in those two segments. In the I think in, in the in the first quarter, fiscal thirteen. First quarter, fiscal thirteen. So it's a reflection of slowdown in telecom and, uh, yeah, and uh, government business government. in India business in India, right. we see that coming back. We don't see it remaining as it is because we have other industries and other demand which will mm. kind of fill the pike. Mm. So we are pretty confident that... And how large are these two for you? Uh, in India, pretty significant. We don't get, break out the numbers separately, but mm. pretty significant. But broadly, I mean, ballpark, where does we it stand? We don't give the numbers, Prashant, separately. We don't give the numbers separately. But it's a function of just that? Of, of the That's slowdown primarily in, the, what it is. in these two you know who you know, you know our customer base in these two areas. Right. It's pretty much public, so right. to that extent, I don't want to double guess that. And you know, our belief is that when customers go through hard times, mm. we have to stand by them. Mm. We can't let go of them. What about the fourth uh, fourth quarter, March ended quarter? I mean, the top line seems to have been a little lower than what the expectations were, Suresh. So, if you look at the, uh, you know, customer satisfaction has gone up mm. further. Mm. Uh, attrition has been sustained, mm. and therefore, e side is good. Uh, if you look at the cash flows, the free cash flows were more than 100% of the net income of the company. Uh, we have got the revenue growth mm. in line with the guidance that we had given. We had given 1% to 3% kind of a guidance and about 1.3% on a constant currency mm. uh, and $1536 million in terms of the reported currency. So, and so far as profits are concerned, I think while you saw many others dropping, we have been able to maintain it with about 10 basis points change, mm. despite the fact that the headwind on the exchange side. And not only that, we have been able to get a 10 basis points improvement in the exchange, but also the OCI mm. loss from 540 crores has got down to 160 crores. So, and also on the cash flow point of view, the, the you know, DSO outstanding has come down by about right. two days improvement. So net net, we have seen in many of the operating parameters, we have done well. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> we have done well in terms of the offshore on side. And I'm going to get price. to that. I'm going to get to that. But the fourth quarter numbers, the top line, I mean, w just just break that down. I mean, mm -hmm. what happened? Is it also a function of the India business? Uh, that uh, India business did well so far as quarter four is concerned. Right, okay. But as we go forward, because some of those businesses that we got where some things when things were moving in India, mm -hmm. a lot of orders that have been booked before, uh, but when you talk about some of this decision taking place, because if you look at the... Uh, pipeline, mm. the deals on the table that you are contesting, very, very good, very mm. attractive. It has never been as high as what it was, uh, let's say, a year before, two years before. Mm. But some of the closer decision making on that mm. is getting slowed. The for the fourth mentioned. quarter, non-IT business revenues are a little sluggish? I mean, is that one of the... Uh, no, I think the Wipro infrastructure engineering business has done well, so far mm. as the India business is concerned. Mm. Uh, Europe has even breaking even, so mm. far as, uh, and that's a good improvement. Right. Uh, and so far as consumer care is concerned, it has grown very well at about 25% year on year. Mm. So both in terms of profits and, up and, and uh, top line, mm. uh, both consumer care has done well. So overall, quarter four has been in uh, guidance lines, mm. including for the margins. Mm. And uh, so far as quarter one is concerned, what Kurian talked about uh, is a factor of varieties of pockets. Mm. And when you are looking at some transformational kind of 
change in your business model. Mm. There have to certain revenues you would need to go, certain revenues yes. you have to chase for. Yes. You would create those through a demand generation tactic. And that is where Wipro is invested on. And mm. when you do that, there will be some which will come by and you let go, mm. and that's part of the strategy. Mm. And from that point of view, you see some amount of mutedness so far as quarter one is concerned. But we are quite confident that as we get into subsequent follow through quarter, mm. the scenario will be far better. Do you have the IndyTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndyTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.